Hi there, my name is Mauro Sicard, and today I'm going to answer your question regarding our Webflow e-commerce templates. So it is pretty common that some of our customers are looking to purchase one of our templates, for example, our CoinX Webflow template, but they are looking for a version without e-commerce. Unfortunately, at the moment, all of our templates have the e-commerce only version, meaning that if you purchase the template, you need to use uh, Webflow e-commerce. This happens for all our templates, like for example, CoinX or DeFiX or many other of our Webflow templates available. At the moment, Webflow doesn't allow to remove Webflow e-commerce functionality. However, it's very likely that it's going to be released in the future. For the moment, you have two different options of how you can overcome these and use a template without Webflow e-commerce. Let's go one by one. The first option is just to go ahead and remove everything related to e-commerce from your Webflow project. In order to do this, you need to go into the designer, as you can see here, you open your Webflow template and you start by removing everything related to the e-commerce template. The first thing to remove is the cart. And as you can see, there's many ways to hide that super easily. So in this case, we're going to double click on the header, select the cart right from here. And once we have the cart selected, it's just a matter of clicking hide to ensure that element is hided. At that moment, you will see that the cart is not there anymore and you should be able to use the header without that e-commerce functionality. The second thing to do is to just go ahead and de-index all the pages related to e-commerce. So if we go into pages and then we go into the e-commerce pages, you will see that you have the option to click settings here. Once you click the settings, you're going to see all the settings related to the e-commerce. Then you can scroll a little and just at the end, you have the custom code. For the custom code here, you're able to add a meta no index tag, uh, which is pretty much like a tag that allows you to tell the search engines to not find that page. So you can copy this tag right from the Google Search Central. You can paste it in there and click save. If you do this to, with all the e-commerce related pages, this is just going to be hidden and none of the search engines like Google, Yahoo or Bing are going to be able to find these pages. Once you finish this, just click save and that page is going to be hidden forever. Finally, if there's any section that relates to the CMS, you can just go ahead and delete that super easily. So for example, let's say that you don't want that pricing page or you don't want like these cards related to the CMS, you can just go ahead and delete those super easily. It's just a matter of selecting the element, clicking delete, and you are gone for good. On templates related to e-commerce, for example, uh, our hotel template, if you go ahead and go into the e-commerce page, you're going to be able to very easily just go ahead and remove this reservate part in case you just want to get rid of the e-commerce functionality. So as you can see in these little three steps, you just removed all the traces from Webflow e-commerce from your project, and you're going to be able to use the template just fine. Great, so in case you want another option, you can actually move everything from your old Webflow e-commerce project into a new, brand new Webflow non-e-commerce project. This is a great option in case you want to avoid paying higher fees for the Webflow e-commerce hosting. So in case what you, that's what you want to do, you can do the following. Great, so you need to go into your Webflow dashboard and you're going to see your Webflow template just like this. So you go ahead and create a new project you start it from scratch and you name it something like non-webflow e-commerce. Once you do that, it's going to create that project and you, you, you'll need to go ahead and open your webflow template in the other window. So just open two different windows and go ahead and open both of the projects. Have them side by side and start moving the elements one by one. So for example, here we'll start by moving this section from here. You can just select that section, do Command C in Mac or Control C in Windows, and then do Command B in Mac or Command B in Windows to go ahead and paste that. As you can see, everything uh, inside the template is going to be pasted. So you will pretty much have the same template, but in your new empty project. As you can see, this can definitely be a little time consuming. 
That being said, unfortunately, is the only way to do that in case you want to just get rid of all the Webflow e-commerce features. The problem with this is that once you finish moving everything around, you will also need to load the fonts and the icon fonts. So for example, you can see that this one has like a little different, uh, a little different color and then a little different font. So you will need to load everything so it actually looks the same. So even this can be a little time consuming. If you had done that before, it should probably just take a matter of like an hour or an hour and a half. So it's definitely not as bad, but it's kind of your last choice in case you want to go with that direction. And that is all for the moment. We know that this can be a little complicated if you're a Webflow beginner. However, unfortunately for the moment, this is the only way to transform a Webflow e-commerce project into a non-e-commerce project. We are actively looking for solutions and how to make this a little easier. So we promise that if we find another easier solution for you, or in case Webflow goes ahead and releases this feature, we will promise to record a great video for you. That is all for the moment. Thank you very much for being one of our great customers and have a great day.